haven't been here in a while. Just got my first ride on Suburban Eagle since I think July 23rd, which was Ellis' birthday. That thing is not running fast at all today. Holy cow, it's slow. Definitely one of the slowest rides I've had this season. It was a little bit cooler today, so that'll explain why, but front row, blue train, Zen ride, was not running fast at all, so might have to come back to that one later. Now I think I'm probably gonna go down towards Justice League, because that's what I've started doing from now on, doing Justice League before Boss, because I want to see if I can get some dual wheel rides in early. So we're gonna head down there and see how we do on this, because last time when I rode it, I was killing. I was getting double max after double max, so not sure we'll be able to have that same luck today, but you never know. I'm unpredictable with this thing, so let's head down there and get a few laps on it, and then we'll get on Mr. Freeze soon after. ride was not what I was expecting. On the second blaster, I had 55,000 coming out of the third screen. So I'm like, okay, a double max is probably not gonna happen. And then I literally got up to 790,000 by the end of the fourth screen. And that's with messing up a little bit. And by a little bit, I really mean a lot because I was missing my shot. Like there's this henchman hanging out the side of the monster truck in the fourth screen, 8,000 points a hit. There was a good two second period where I was completely missing him, yet I still got that high. So that is just unbelievable. I never done so well on that screen before and as you can expect that was an easy double max for me so that's something to be proud of red and yellow car eight that was awesome rode mr freeze three times running back to side a and then the front to side b usually i think i like the return trip a lot better for today i like the trip out better because the front of side a the air time is so strong today i think it's because it's launching faster whereas in the past it's good but not necessarily too strong or anything and then when i rode the back of side a i got air time going into the inverted top hat which i don't think i've ever had that happen in the past so that was a crazy experience this thing is going to be a tough one to me today and it absolutely destroys screaming eagle but i haven't done boss yet so that may change but as of now mr freeze is top coaster today Like, 
Got a ride on Boss and American Thunder, and then I also did Mr. Freeze again. Boss was running really well, but I will say Mr. Freeze is better. But speaking of Mr. Freeze, my last ride was not that good because I got stapled very hard by the ops, so I'm sure I was digging into my gut the whole ride. And then American Thunder was good, but not the best I've seen it run. And then I just had an unbelievably close call on Justice League, really like 998-700 with the second blaster. And I started the second blaster, I think at the start of the fourth screen, so I almost got it in just two, which that would have been ridiculous if I actually pulled it off. Which I
Classic and first cone. I will say though, six of American Thunder. To our left is the 1904 World's Fair Catering Grove, featuring an expanded city, state of the art kitchen facilities, and more for your group or corporate outing. Contact our group sales office for more information. And of course, our beloved steam train. We are currently on the Tommy G. Robertson. Now in 2024, we are proud. Let me tell you right now, I'm not saying I drank it or anything, but it's not good. Now, have you looked at the trees, Charlie? map, red, wait times, and more. Download the free Six Flags app on your iOS or Android device to get the most out of your Six Flags experience. Over to our rider to have our finest restaurants. Since it was really nice out, I figured it was a good day to do that. Get some shots from above. Then I did a lap on the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad and then rode Boss again. And my second ride on Boss was much rougher than my first one, so that wasn't too good. I feel like I owe Screaming Eagle a re ride after how disappointing my ride earlier today was. So let's see how it runs now compared to earlier today.
got stuck on Justice League for the 124,388th time. In other words, I'm just saying I got stuck on it yet again, and I don't even know how many times that is. So I did a ride right after it reopened, and it immediately goes back down. I don't know how well it's been up, like, in terms of the rest of the day, but as of now, this thing is having issues. Gonna call it a little early tonight with Justice League. The park closes at 9. Last time I'll be able to get some night rides until I think Fright Fest, which is about a month from now. Since the park closes at 9 and it's dark out, I want some night rides. So, I'm gonna go up and do Boss first, and then go get a night ride on Scream and Eagle. So, let's head to Boss. Got a night ride on Boss and two night rides on Scream and Eagle to have my day, including the last ride of the night on Scream and Eagle. And my final ride count for today was 13 on Justice League, 4 on Mr. Freeze and Scream and Eagle, 3 on Boss, and then 1 on American Thunder, Colossus, and the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad. In terms of highlights, that four screen performance I had on Justice League was incredible. Those night rides I had on Boss, and especially the Scream Eagle, those were good. Overall, today was really good. Before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing. I just hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm very thankful for all your support. If you're not subscribed yet, it's not too late to do so. Be sure to subscribe and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, it will be from my 22nd birthday at Six Flags St. Louis, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.